Thanks, Ricky, for the introduction. Yeah, I think you guys are crazy. <laughs> Why are you coming to my talk when, you know, I'm just about to rant for half an hour. <laughs> okay, so my talk is about why you should stop hustling and boot, bootstrapping, right? So, uh, today's topic is going to be very controversial and uh, I do hope that for your own personal val uh, well-being that you uh, read on. You don't have to take down everything you see on the slide. Uh, you can download the slides at the end of the talk. Uh, about myself, alright, I'm Henry. So, oh, it's very small then. So I've been five years in e-commerce. So uh, as Ricky had mentioned, I sold on multiple e-commerce platforms such as Amazon, eBay, Kuten, Lazada, Carousel, Shopee. But he left out the most important one. What is that? WooCommerce. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's my favorite. Right. And I run a multiple seven figures uh, e-commerce business. Uh, with about 30 over people on my team and uh, honestly, I'm just a regular guy. Uh, the only difference is, you know, I really love e-commerce and you know, I'm really passionate about it. And uh, I've been through the up and downs, real downs of being in business. So uh, I kind of feel that I think I have the uh, kind of uh, authority to kind of share with you about, you know, uh, about being in business. So, what is hustle? You know, uh, some of you might have heard of this term, what hustle, right? You know, it, it came from this term, uh, hustle and bustle of a, you know, a, a thriving city, you know, hustle. So, it's actually about being in a state of uh, great activity. So, you are constantly, you know, working hard, constantly being busy, doing something uh, in your business. And what is bootstrapping? So bootstrapping is basically you are starting a business with existing resources, uh, usually minimal. So that means you are using whatever money you have, uh, whatever resources you have uh, in uh, your own capacity to start a business. And what you are doing is uh, usually you are reinvesting the profits back into the business, usually a very high percentage. So how many of you run a business here? Awesome, and are you guys doing this as well? Right, I'm sure a lot of you can uh, understand what I'm trying to tell you. So the founders take a very small salary, right? You guys could be dressing up in suits like myself, but actually, you know, uh, you're not really taking a lot of salary, <laughs> right? I'm sure all of you can uh, understand me on that on the end. Uh, of course, the upside is that there's very low financial risk, right? What if uh, if everything you know, doesn't work out. You know, that you, you don't, you're not losing a lot of things, right? So, today, you know, I'm challenging the dangerous norm. People are saying that, you know, I, I've heard some of these, these uh, uh, statements that people are saying, you know, sleep, sleep is overrated, right? You can sleep when you die, when you're dead. You can sleep when you're dead. Now, Right, you guys are maybe young or whatever, you have time in your life, you should be hustling, working hard in your business. Right? A lot of people are saying that. If you are not hustling, you are losing. That means, wow, if you are not working, uh, you are losing out. So, and smart work will never replace hard work. It only supplements it. How many of you heard of this? It's, it's being said by one of the very popular guy on YouTube right now. I'll, I'll, I'll show who is he later on. <laughs> if you're not working 15 to 18 hours a day, you are not doing enough with your life. Huh? This guy, how many of you know him? Hustle, 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 hustle. Right? Gary Vaynerchuk. So he's an author, speaker, right? Internet personality, a prominent advocate of this thing called the hustle pawn, right? It's about working hard, right? And and you know, all that's all he does. And and you know, people believe in that, which is not wrong. I you know, I definitely believe that people should be working, definitely. Uh, but between working hard or working smart, right? Look at this word here, right? Work smart. 
It is two words ah. Work. That's the first one. Okay. If you are not working, you cannot be working smart. Understand? So you need to be working. So between these two, of course, you know, I'll say that you guys should be working smart. Right? You should be working for sure. Right? Otherwise you cannot uh maybe even run a seven figure business or something like that. Uh you should be working, but you have to be working smart as well. Okay? So if you are working, do you think all your time is being spent on being efficient and effective? If you are working 18 hours a day, you sleep six hours, work 18 hours a day, okay? Do you think that you can be uh, efficient throughout the 18 hours? Do you think you can be efficient, uh, you, you can be uh, effective in these 18 hours? So what is the real working hours that you actually put into this business? Maybe it's only 6 hours and the, the other 12 hours you are not being, you are not utilizing them in the uh, best possible way, right? So, the, and on the other end, we talk about bootstrapping, right? So there are two extremes of how entrepreneurs spend money, okay? So, there are, there's one group of people who are the thrifters, who are our savers here, who are the ones who like to save money, you know, try not to spend so much, who are the ones? Cannot be nobody here, come on, right? You guys, want, you guys are the ones who always try to save money, right? Whatever you can save, you try to save, don't, uh, don't, let's, maybe, let's not buy the plug-in later on, you know. <laughs> or maybe we, we don't get the more expensive web hosting, you know, maybe we just make do with what, what we want, right? Those are the thrifters, right? Maybe you, you go out there, you eat at the hawker center or you cook at home, you know, you try to save money, right? So I'm sure some of you are like that. How about my spenders? Who are the spenders? Well, a lot of you love to spend money, okay? So another end, right, is the spenders. I belong to the thrifters. <laughs> okay, I belong to the thrifters. So the thing about the thrifters, right, you all can understand me, you know. Uh, whatever you can save, you really try to save, right? Whatever money, right, because you believe that saving the money, I can reinvest into my business. I can grow it faster, right? Right, and the thing is that you need to spend money for your well-being. Right, where are my thrifters again? Right, you, ma'am, you need to spend money. Right, Ricky, you have to spend money, right? Okay, and definitely, right, spend money on a work camp ticket. Right, of course, because I'm a, I'm a co-organizer here, of course I ask you guys <laughs> to spend money on a work camp ticket. But honestly, think about it, right? Work camp ticket, how much does it cost you? 40 bucks, right? What do you get here? You get to attend a full day of talks. You guys learn a lot of stuff here. And uh, all of you, you know, you get free lunch. Not free, I mean, it comes with it, right? It comes with lunch, it comes with tea break. And then who is going out for the after party later on? Right? So my talk is a bit more chill. So right now, you all can start to have the party vibe right now. Okay? And then tomorrow, there's the contributors day as well. You get hands on, uh, you know, you get to learn something hands on as well. Right? But for the spenders, you need to spend appropriately. Okay? Spend appropriately. Okay? So the key word here is balance. The key word here is balance. Okay, I belong to the thrifters, okay, and when my business started to sort of uh, become stable and I, I started to make some money, right, uh, one thing that I stopped myself from kind of, uh, uh, how to tell myself, hey, okay, I, I should stop uh, think, worry about money in this aspect, and one of them, it, 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 it comes, it, it's actually food, uh. <laughs> It's actually food. When it comes to food, uh, you know, maybe I'll, when I go for, uh, let's say I tell my wife, hey, let's go for a hot pot, uh, you know, I, I don't think about the money, you know, I don't think about the money in the aspect. Uh, and one more way is that my, my refrigerator, right, one thing that I do is that I fill it up with beverages, 
So then when I fill it up, right, then when I open my, my refrigerator, then I feel like, actually, I'm not doing that bad in life. La. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So one key thing is you know you want you want to be uh have balance, right? The keyword is balance. And you know, yeah, these amazing people, right? Like Elon Musk, everybody knows who who, who he is, right? He runs uh he used to uh you know PayPal was started by him and then he sold it off and then he invested in SpaceX and Tesla, the car, right, and uh, Solar City and now he's doing the uh, boring company as well. So he has a lot of businesses, right? How many of you think that he's amazing? Right? I think he's amazing as well. Okay. But do you really want to have, you know, go through the, the kind of journey that he did or the kind of life that, that he leads? Probably not. Uh. Maybe if I did what he did, Maybe I'll be in IMH right now, right? <laughs> Mental hospital or something like that. Okay, so the thing is that you can, uh, let me go through some more, right? Do you want a life like this, right? Uh, I can't remember his name. You know, The Pursuit of Happiness. Have, have all of you watched that movie? Okay, The Pursuit of Happiness. So there's this particular scene which is very sad. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, you know, he brought his son. Uh, he took, bring him to the, basically he, he kind of told, told his son is like uh, it's a jungle or something like that and then he sort of tricked his son to go into the uh, public washroom in the subway station and they spent the night there because he couldn't afford rent he couldn't afford a night in the, in the motel or something like that so it's very sad right uh, quite quite a very low low point in his life right so myself right hustling and you know bootstrapping it took some of the best years of my life away as well right maybe a bit of an alien uh, of course it's, it's not that bad uh, but uh, you know I just try to exaggerate a bit so I hustled for about four years of my life right I stopped taking the subway in fact so if you guys think you are the thrifter I might thrift more than you I, I probably caught the misers <laughs> Miser's end of the thrifters really, right? I stopped taking the subway. You know, I started to cycle to everywhere. I had peanut butter sandwich almost every meal for like I think eighteen months. I would say, you know, uh, and it, it it comes to the point where you just don't, you just can't taste anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it gets so that that boring. And uh does this sound like an interesting story to you? Okay, maybe maybe Netflix will call me up and then, you know, ask me, hey, let's do a a, a TV series about your life. <laughs> okay. So there's this uh study, right, I think uh from the American Psychiatrist Association, they say that you know fifteen to sixteen point six percent of the general population suffer from depression. So, you know, actually a lot of people out there is suffer from depression, correct? But the thing is this, you look at the entrepreneurs, we are two times more likely to suffer from depression than the general population. Yes, I know this, this uh, word, word came here, right? Today, you guys come here to learn about stuff. But I want to talk about something real uh, in, in your life, in your business life as well. Okay, so and then there's another, uh, I think this index here, it says 45. They actually did a survey, I think. So they said that 45% of entrepreneurs report that they feel stress. They feel stress. And 34% of them worry a lot. Right, I'm sure a lot of you are also feeling stress a lot of times, right? And the glory of entrepreneurship leaves the feeling of being left out, right? Most people find dating entrepreneurs feels like dating aliens. So that means, uh, uh, outside of our circle, right? If all of you are entrepreneurs, outside of our circle, right? You know, uh, let's say you you find your uh, 
you try to date someone or they uh, someone who, who has a regular job or something like that. They, they they feel that we are alien. We are like an alien. You know? And for myself, you know, I feel that, you know, my, my health did take a hit as well. Right? I, I work I was working this amount of hours as well, fifteen to eighteen hours a day. Uh I, I think some people who know me could, could testify when, when I was building up my business uh, at the point of time. And then I was sleeping very little. You know, I was sleeping like five, six, six hours a, a day. You know, I was eating unhealthily. Why? Because you feel stressed, right? Uh, some people, when they feel stressed, they don't eat, uh, which is very lucky for them. <laughs> <laughs> right? I belong to the other group where I feel stressed, you know. Uh, I just I just eat a lot and then uh, and now you know I'm actually spending a lot of time trying to regain my health and that's me you know that's me on the right you can see this squatter here right so this is actually taken like two or three years back when the when the Pokemon Go right just launched okay so I was I was playing Pokemon Go and that that was that was me you know I look good right <laughs> and that's me now. Uh, yeah. Okay, so do you really want to make all that money and have no health uh, to enjoy it? And not just health, I'm only mentioning about health here, but there's a lot of things. You might not just be giving up your health, you might be giving up relationship with your family. You might be giving up uh, time spending on other passions in your life. Maybe you love to play sports or something like that. You might be giving that all up as well, right? So if you are not, if you are constantly hustling, you are not doing it right. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Okay. This is, everything here is really my opinion, right? Uh, I'm just telling you my opinion. If you, if you feel strongly against what I'm going to say, then uh, it's okay, right? You can uh, have your own, you are entitled to your own, own opinion, right? So you have to learn how to delegate and manage. That's what I feel, right? Time, money, right? You learn how to leverage time and learn how to leverage money. So leverage time by learning how to hire, delegate and manage. Learn how to leverage money by learning how to get funding. Okay, money is not like your own personal savings to use it to build your business. Okay, you can use other people's money to do it as well. So, uh, of course, this 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 topic that I'm going to talk about is, has nothing to do with funding. But uh, you guys can you know after you go back can learn about that. Okay, so I have. And in fact, uh, because nowadays I'm actually at a point where I'm coaching other people to, to be building their own e-commerce business. And in fact, one of my students, right, he, uh, he has a full-time job. So he has a full-time job and he, he actually has an a, a e-commerce business doing about 100,000 uh, in revenue per year annually. And he's able to have a full-time job and run his business. Because why? Because he knows how to leverage other people's time to do this. Okay? Right? And right, you can learn how to get funding through these kind of things like loans and equity. Okay? So quality over quantity. Okay, so uh, it's important to get more of something than to get few things that are high quality. It's often used to hurry people up and encourage people to get something done quickly. Sorry, I, 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 don't, I don't know what this slide is about because uh, my, my designer did this, right? But you saw that, you saw that, uh, you know, uh, that, that jeep there, right? I, I think a lot of you will have seen before, like good, uh, cheap, cheap and what a bad uh, quality and then, uh, I, I can't remember what is it, yeah. But like between the three, you can only choose two, something like that. You cannot, you cannot take everything, right? Always try to choose quality over quantity. Same, same like what I mentioned, right? You know, uh, when you spend time in your business, focus on uh, being effective, being efficient with the hours that you put in. It's not about you putting a lot of time inside uh, this business. Okay, for example, although I, 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 I don't think I'm suitable to use this as an example, but 
imagine you go to the gym, okay? Imagine you go to the gym. I'm trying to go to the gym now. <laughs> but imagine you go to the gym, right? Today, you go to the gym for, uh, let's say, 12 hours or 14 hours, okay? Which is unrealistic or for sure, but if you just spend 14 hours in the gym, okay? And the next, uh, and then you, you don't go to the gym for the next 13 days, right? So for the next two weeks, you don't go, go to the gym at all. Compared to you going to the gym an hour a day for the next two weeks, which do you think will give you a better result? Am I right? So it's about you. Even if you are spending just a few hours on your business uh, every day, okay, you make sure that you commit those time, right? Within those hours, you are not distracted. You're not, you're not playing with your phone. You're not using Facebook or, or you know, not playing video games or, or watching a, 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 a show or something like that, you know. So, you know, you, you want to maybe mute your phone, put it aside when you're working. Be efficient, be effective, okay? And your business is not your life, okay? Your life is more than just business, okay? Your life is more than just business, right? It's only part of your life. Right, so you want to achieve, you know, balance between all these things, you know, like money, family, and friends, you know, health, passions, and interests, and business. Okay. So ask yourself, are you happy? Okay. Very quiet now, right? All of you also thinking, <laughs> you're asking yourself. Uh, are you happy? Right? I think this is a very serious question. I hope that you know whatever I just asked you, are you happy? It, it really sp speaks directly to you. Okay, are you happy? You know, I should not have given up anything just for business or financial success. I will only choose everything. Okay, what I mean by this is this. Uh, between all this that I mentioned, money, family and friends, health, passions and interests, business, a lot of times, a lot of times that people who are running businesses, right, they, uh, you know, they, they sacrifice, they say, no, uh, you know, all this is not important, right? Business is my uh, focus right now. I'm going to put all my time, all my uh, focus into, into my business first, right? And then everything else, I'll leave it for next time. But I feel differently. I feel that you can have everything. I feel that you can have everything. Yes, maybe, you know, it, it is easy for you, right? When you focus on something, it, you know, you will get very good results. But it's difficult for you to, you know, try to balance everything out, right? So if you put all your focus in your business, definitely you will achieve that success. But you will lose out on everything else, okay? You can have everything, right? You just need to have the mindset of trying to balance everything, okay? So... Uh, examine your life and business model is where uh, where you are now and what you're doing daily okay where you are now and what you're doing daily is that going to lead you to this happy life that you painted in your mind okay you are allowed to enjoy the journey as well as the fruits of your labor Okay, you are allowed to enjoy the journey and as well as the fruit of your labor. Right, so pretty much that's all my, uh, that's my last slide, right? So, uh, should we take questions now or? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. Okay, first question. <coughs> Hello, my name is Ada. I book strap because of the low financial risk. So, uh, it, uh, I always have this impression that when you leverage on funding or investors, you are actually more stressed because you have to chase their targets and you are no longer uh, calling the shots. They, they, the, the ones who give you the money, they are the ones calling the shots for your business. So, maybe you have some input on that. Okay, uh, firstly, right, uh, great question. Linda, right? Right, great Linda. question. Okay, so the thing is that uh, for me, what I I would say, right, when do you start to get funding? Although it's, it's going to go into uh, slightly a bit into uh, that, that topic, right? But what I'm trying to say is that once you have, have a business model that is already working, you are confident that this works, okay? 
what you want to do next, right, is this is at this at this point, right, you should be looking at using other people's money and then you know try to flush out whatever is 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 inside your business now. Okay, one very good way to 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 get some small small uh, funding to your business without feeling very stressed is friends and family. And then some of you are like oh, friends and family, I don't want you know I, I don't want to 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 to, to uh, you know stress them or whatever. You should think this way. Your business is already making money. You are now helping your friends and family. Would you want to help your friends and family to make some money as well, right? Right on your success, right? You are giving them some interest as well. You are not borrowing money and then don't pay them or don't just return the principal. When you borrow money, okay, so one way that I do it in my business is like this. So let's say maybe I go to my aunt, right? So I have an aunt, she's not married, so of course uh, she got a bit more cash on her, on her hand. So what I do is I go and ask for her, hey, can you, uh, uh, you know, my business is growing well, but I need more money to, to kind of grow it, uh, more stable it, you know. Could you lend me, uh, ten thousand dollars, right? You lend me ten thousand dollars. After six months, I start to pay you monthly, right? Until the end of the year, right? And then I'll pay you back the principal. So what I'll do is that I'll go and look at the banks out there. What is the personal loan rate? So at that point of time, it was about six to seven percent. Now it's I think it's very low. So you guys want to, uh, you know, grow your business somewhere? You can look at. Uh, loaning money from the bank is only about 4% right now, which is very low. So imagine you borrow $10,000, uh, you only pay six, four, four, $400, uh, my time is $600. $400, you can use $10,000 and make more than $400 very easily, am I right? So what you want to do is that you go to your aunt, I mean I go to my aunt, right? then I ask her for, for $10,000 and then I pay her from the 6 month hours I pay her monthly, so I pay about $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, right? So I'm supposed to pay her back $10,600, right? What do you think I do? Yes, very good answer, pay her more, right? So I pay her $10,000 back already, right? And then I pay her extra $1,000, understand? Then she feel very happy and then what, what happened? She lent me more money. <laughs> okay? Yeah, any other questions? Do we have time for questions? Okay. Anybody? Uh, just to uh, elaborate as well uh, on Linda's point, right? So, so why does, uh, why, why you borrow money? Because now you're using your own money, right? So what happens? Your, your pocket is empty, right? Then you go out, I, I don't have a lot of cash. Let's eat something, uh, you know, simple, correct? But now it's other people's money inside your business, which is running, which is making the money for you. So now you have more liquidity, which is okay. Then you feel more uh, mentally balanced to spend that money, okay? Yeah. Uh, the gentleman there at the back, you have a question? No, okay. Anybody else? Right. Otherwise, uh, oh, let me put up my slide. Right? So if you want to download the slides, uh, you can scan this QR code. Otherwise, you could uh, go to my link here, decisivemarketer.com forward slash stop hustling. Okay, stop hustling, right? You can connect with me as well. I have a Facebook group, uh, which is mostly about e-commerce base uh, you know in Singapore and then uh, I have a Facebook Twitter and Instagram account as well right uh, also I will be at the after party so if you have some questions that you don't want to ask me publicly you want to privately speak to me that's fine right anything else yeah that's it thank you very much Henry give a big round of applause thank you David. I'm not uh, asking for allowances some money like that